So within TD Snap Motor Plan, you might be working um, with a Gestalt language processor and you might be interested in what features might work for that. Um, and one of the biggest things um, within all TD Snap, both the Motor Plan and the Core First, is quick fires. Quick fires um, are phrases. Uh, and typically, they also have a section that you can program my phrases in. As you can see, this is a um, version that has some masking done. So you do have to pay attention to that just in case you do want to find um, where the my phrases are. So what I might do in this situation is show you the quick fires and then show you it without the masking so that you can make sure to add things that you're interested um, in adding under quick fires without anything hidden at first. So under on the top um, left hand side right under speak is quick fires and you'll see right now you have just some general phrases that are naturally programmed in here you have um, greetings and social which is really great um, and a lot of them are somewhat mitigatable gestalts you also have uh, personal needs and all of these are in phrases like i need help something is wrong, turn it on, turn it off, all of I am uncomfortable, stuff like that, that might be very helpful um, in a quick um, in a quick session or moment that you're modeling with a Gestalt language processor. Um, same thing when you go back to quick fires, um, you also have questions. Do you want to play? Can I play? What are you doing? What's next? Can you help me? Also really great to use with Gestalt language processors. Uh, the cool thing is, is you see all these blank spots. Um, these either have hidden buttons or they have um, areas for you to program more gestalts in. And so again, you can still program it in other places in the, in the system. You really do want to honor, this is a motor plan system, so you want to honor the motor plan. You want to make sure um, that you are programming the gestalts in an area that makes the most sense. So for example, for food and drink is where I might program any uh, mealtime related gestalts. Um, school related gestalts, I might program under school, stuff like that. You might still want to focus on that piece, but quick fires are really um, specific to commonly used gestalts, maybe ones that you're still not sure what they mean, but you know they're important to the, to the, um, to the child. So um, the other cool thing is that within quick fires, what you didn't see because the filter's on is that right under um, right in that purple line on the right hand side, there's going to be an area for my phrases. So that would be a great place to put phrases that really don't have a meaning yet that we know of um, and we're still investigating. Um, any social phrases like howdy or something like that might go under this general area or greetings and social, personal needs, anything that they might say like when they're hurt might be a good one. Like I had a student that said, um, that phrase from the monkeys song, the five little monkeys bumped his head every time he, um, really wasn't feeling good or was hurt. Obviously I don't think that was the exact phrase, but the exact line and the exact intonation from the song was used. So I'm going to turn off the filter, which is in the top right hand corner next to the light bulb. I'm going to turn it off. And as you see, there's some things that were hidden before, but now you get to put, um, you get to see that there's my phrases. So in this example, you can add a phrase in here that might be something that we don't necessarily know the meaning of, or it's something used very um, generally and very socially. So in this situation, you might put it right there. You might put, um, trying to think of one that doesn't necessarily have a specific meaning. Maybe it's, um, Let's pretend I'm putting something because this is going to be very specific to the child. The day is done and I've had lots of fun. Again, you can choose the image. Um, maybe not that one, you know. Maybe you look up something that's related to that or something that they um, are usually playing with when they say this, or even if it's just, you know, the words themselves, you know, you can also have no image. 
Um, again, in my, in my other video for Gestalt language processors, you can use a little microphone next to message to record um, a parent or their voice saying this phrase if that's important to them. Um, or a song or the show that it's from, that can be very important. So now that you're done with that, you program this and now you say the day is done and I've had lots of fun. And so the one thing you're gonna do is if you do wanna turn the filter back on, you wanna make sure to ungray that, otherwise it will not show up. So if it's not, if it's, if it's um, ungrayed, you'll see that right now when you go to quick fires, my phrases is there. But if you gray it out and you forget to do that when you go to quick fires and you click done, my phrases is disappeared or is gone. And so you wanna make sure to um, see that it's ready and there. So now, the day is done and I've had lots of fun. And so that's a gestalt. We might kind of know what it means, but not necessarily. And my phrases are constantly used. They're going to be in quick fires. So you want to um, really uh, hone in on what the child is saying all the time. And if it doesn't fit under greetings or personal needs, that's when I might put it under my phrases.